Don't get mad at me. I got a 58 Chevy with 35 more pavements on the end there. It's good to laugh together, folks, because I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm really becoming old. And I was in Vietnam. I was a youngster in Vietnam. And not being on Canada. I was up in Canada. <laughs> way up. It was way up there with Henry Davis. We were up there in Alaska, actually. I was up there with Dan Quayle and Newt Gingrich and that crowd up there. And Bill Clinton, Clinton won the Yellow Heart two years in a row. Up there. And the reason is I'm a member of two distinct minorities. I'm half Jewish and half Catholic, and that wasn't popular. One populous in the Jesse Helms part of North Carolina, which is all of North Carolina, basically. You know, I'd go to confession, being half Catholic, half Jewish. I'd say, bless me, Father, I've sinned, but these are my lawyers. I'd like to meet my lawyers. Bernstein, Lipstein, Lipschitz, Kalschitz, Horschitz. I ain't let me for just a moment, Greg. I only lost one match the first three years to a kid from Auburn. And she was good. This girl, I'm not kidding. This girl, she, she had to be 6'5", 270. She was a cheerleader. She was a double wide. They called her double wide. I love his wife, Gail. I've got a one. I've had three wives since I was here, and they weren't mine. None of them, they were, they were, you know, they were my friend's wives. I'd rather have my friend. You might get beat up, but you won't lose your house. <laughs> I'm not losing another. I lost two houses in my day. I'm not losing another house. That's it. I've been here for a short time, and I'm serious. You all can't see them, but there's a wonderful looking 23 year old man right here, a youngster, and a little bit tentative. I just want to tell you that one day, as cute as you are, you're going to look just like that man right here. <laughs> Light and take you in the back alley and kick the you know what out. That's gonna happen to all of us. And as cute as that young lady is with the red hair, you're gonna look like Hillary Clinton one day. That's what's gonna happen. That is what happens to be here because when you see a beautiful woman right here in her 30s with a man in his 60s right here, you know he's got money. Right here. I'm sitting and he's my best friend. But Johnny, this is not lust or passion. That's about $20 million of Coca-Cola stuff right over there. I was lying on the sofa last night. My wife said, you want to go upstairs and make love? I said, I can't do both. I'm not kidding. <laughs> you know what I mean? You've been to my house. I got eight steps. Eight steps. I said, you know, we do it here or go out and watch Sound of Music or something. I'm like, the hills are alive, but I'm not. I'm not that much of that. I'm not. I'm tired. I'm a man. Let me sleep. You know. Sex without love is empty. But, as this gentleman told me, as an empty experience goes, <laughs> you, know I mean, it's, you know what I mean? I mean, it's better than a root canal. Isn't it? What's better? I mean, if the good Lord comes to earth and she says, Jerry, you gotta have empty sex or a root canal. So help me, I'm not joking. I was in Alabama. Henry used to travel with me once in a while. We'd do some tours together, and there was a truck. It had Tennessee tags, and one had Alabama tags. And they got to a place on the road, one had to let the other one go. And he got from Alabama and said, what you got in that truck? The guy said, I got chickens. The guy from Alabama said, give me a chicken. The guy from Tennessee said, no, I can give you a chicken. So the guy from Alabama said, well, if I guess how many you got, will you give me one? The guy from Tennessee said, I'll give you both up. Guess who <laughs>